Ever wondered why the gates of Yellowstone National Park, a cherished natural wonder, abruptly closed? Picture waking up to the news that this majestic paradise is indefinitely off-limits. What led astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, known for unraveling cosmic mysteries, to become entangled in this controversy? Join us as we unravel the intriguing sequence of events surrounding Yellowstone's closure, delving into surprising discoveries concerning trends and the unexpected role of Neil deGrasse Tyson. Stay tuned for a captivating exploration of the intricate relationship between nature, science, and public safety in this extraordinary tale. Yellowstone National Park, a cherished natural wonder, has mysteriously closed its gates to the public. At the center of this puzzle is the eminent astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, known for its breathtaking geysers, captivating landscapes, and diverse wildlife. Yellowstone has been a long-revered haven for nature enthusiasts. However, picture waking up to the news that this majestic paradise is indefinitely off-limits. How could such a stunning refuge suddenly become restricted? Neil deGrasse Tyson, a renowned figure in scientific knowledge and cosmic explanations. Acknowledged for his brilliant mind and the ability to simplify complex concepts, Tyson has become a prominent face in science communication. But what led him to be involved in a situation seemingly distant from his usual domain? In this video, we'll delve into the intriguing sequence of events that unfolded, revealing how Neil deGrasse Tyson became entangled in the controversy surrounding Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park, celebrated for its natural beauty and ecological importance, holds a unique place in conservation history. As the first national park in the United States and often considered the world's inaugural national park, Yellowstone has a rich legacy in environmental stewardship. The expansive landscape of the park encompasses diverse ecosystems, mountains, canyons, rivers, and vast grassy valleys. Its most iconic feature, the Yellowstone Caldera, a volcanic hotspot, fuels the park's geothermal activity, giving rise to stunning geysers, hot springs, and mud pots. These geothermal wonders result from the park's location atop a vast underground magma chamber. Among the park's renowned attractions is the Old Faithful Geyser, erupting approximately every 90 minutes in a magnificent display of water and steam. Another notable geothermal feature is the Grand Prismatic Spring, famed for its vibrant colors due to heat-loving microorganisms thriving in mineral-rich waters. Beyond its geothermal wonders, Yellowstone is a haven for diverse wildlife. The park provides a protected habitat for numerous species, including the symbolic American bison, the largest terrestrial mammal in North America, grizzly bears, wolves, elk, moose, bighorn sheep, and various bird species also call Yellowstone home. Extensive research and conservation efforts focus on the park's wildlife, contributing to our understanding of ecosystems and advocating for their preservation. However, recent years have seen a rise in concerns regarding geothermal activity and potential volcanic hazards. The closure of Yellowstone National Park stemmed primarily from the discovery of significant changes in the park's geothermal activity. Geologists and seismologists noted a troubling increase in seismic activity beneath the park's surface, marked by both a surge in frequency and intensity of earthquakes. This unexpected uptick in seismicity raised alarm among scientists, suggesting the possibility of volcanic activity. Upon further investigation, researchers made a disturbing revelation. Ground deformation was on the upswing, indicating the presence of a massive magma chamber deep beneath Yellowstone. The discovery of such a sizable magma chamber sent shockwaves through the scientific community, ending at the potential for a supervolcano eruption. Now, you might be wondering, how devastating is a supervolcano eruption? A supervolcano eruption is an exceedingly catastrophic event with the capacity to cause global repercussions. These eruptions involve an enormous release of volcanic material, including ash, gases, and lava, on a scale far surpassing regular volcanic eruptions. The aftermath can result in severe climate changes due to the injection of large amounts of ash and gas into the atmosphere, leading to global temperature decreases, crop failures, and ecosystem disruptions. As data on Yellowstone's geothermal activity unfolded, controversial theories about a potential eruption circulated within scientific circles and the public. Some experts suggested that the supervolcano within the park might be approaching a catastrophic eruption similar to the one approximately 640,000 years ago, known as the Huckleberry Ridge eruption. This ancient eruption released immense quantities of ash, debris, and gases into the atmosphere. Debates flared among scientists about the possibility of a supervolcano eruption. Evaluating the available evidence and understanding the complex dynamics of Yellowstone's volcanic system posed a challenging task. The geological record indicates several supereruptions in the park's history, and the presence of a large magma chamber adds to the concern. However, 
accurately predicting the timing and scale of such an event remains a significant challenge for researchers. While the scientific community engaged in rigorous analysis and debate, the public grew increasingly anxious about the potential risks associated with a volcanic eruption of such magnitude. Yellowstone National Park, known for its natural beauty, attracts a substantial number of visitors annually. Considering the park's popularity and the potential dangers of a supervolcano eruption, authorities and park management prioritize the safety and well-being of the public. Amidst the escalating concern, the unexpected participation of astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson added an additional layer of intrigue to the closure of Yellowstone Park. Renowned for his expertise in astrophysics and compelling storytelling, Tyson found himself at the epicenter of the controversy due to his knack for conveying intricate scientific concepts to the public. Tyson's interest in Yellowstone was sparked when he was invited to partake in a scientific symposium focused on the park's geothermal activity. Acknowledging the potential repercussions of a supervolcano eruption, Tyson leveraged his platform and influence to raise awareness about the issue. He utilized various media outlets, including television interviews, podcasts, and social media to illuminate the alarming trends and potential risks associated with Yellowstone's geothermal activity. However, Tyson's involvement was not without criticism. Some argued that, as an astrophysicist, his expertise lay outside the realms of geology and volcanology, questioning his place at the forefront of discussions about Yellowstone's closure. Despite this, Tyson defended his role highlighting the importance of interdisciplinary collaboration and the necessity for scientists from diverse fields to unite in the face of a potential disaster. Beyond advocacy, Tyson played a pivotal role in fostering collaboration between geologists, volcanologists, and seismologists studying Yellowstone. Recognizing the gravity of their findings and the potential impact on public safety, Tyson encouraged scientists to share their data and research cultivating a collective understanding of the situation. Tyson's involvement extended to shaping public perception and promoting preparedness. He spearheaded educational campaigns to inform the public about volcanic hazards and the importance of emergency preparedness in the event of a catastrophic eruption. Emphasizing transparent communication and the dissemination of accurate information, Tyson ensured that the public comprehended the risks associated with Yellowstone's geothermal activity. Through public lectures, documentaries, and social media engagement, he aimed to empower individuals with knowledge, urging them to take proactive steps to safeguard themselves and their communities. As scientific data continued to accumulate and concerns regarding geothermal activity at Yellowstone National Park intensified, the National Park Service, collaborating with geologists and emergency management officials, grappled with the challenging task of determining the appropriate course of action. Balancing the preservation of a national treasure with the safety of visitors and surrounding communities became paramount. Given the potential risks associated with a potential volcanic eruption or other geothermal hazards, the decision to indefinitely close Yellowstone National Park was made to prioritize public safety. This decision was not taken lightly as the closure meant disappointment for many nature enthusiasts and visitors who had planned to explore the park's breathtaking landscapes. The decision to close Yellowstone National Park aimed at lessening potential risks by keeping people away from potentially dangerous conditions. It also provided scientists and experts with the chance to carry out thorough research and monitoring of the park's geothermal activity without the presence of large crowds, making it easier to focus on understanding the dynamics of the volcanic system. During the closure, geologists, seismologists, and other experts would have had the opportunity to gather data, study patterns in seismic activity, examine ground deformation, and evaluate other indicators of volcanic activity. These efforts would have given a better understanding of the supervolcano's current state and helped assess the likelihood of an eruption or other geothermal hazards. The closure of Yellowstone National Park prompted numerous questions about its future. Scientists continue to monitor the park's geothermal activity and conduct ongoing research to better comprehend potential risks and devise strategies for mitigating them. The collaboration between experts from various fields, sparked by Neil deGrasse Tyson's involvement, has opened the door to interdisciplinary approaches to studying and managing natural hazards. While the park's closure certainly disrupts the experiences of visitors and affects local economies, Prioritizing public safety and preserving this ecological treasure remains of utmost importance. Efforts are underway to explore alternative ways to enjoy and appreciate Yellowstone's natural wonders, such as virtual tours, educational programs, and opportunities for scientific engagement. Neil deGrasse Tyson's unexpected participation in the controversy added a distinctive perspective, stressing the importance of interdisciplinary collaboration and effective science communication. 
While the closure of Yellowstone Park may dismay enthusiasts, it stands as evidence of proactive measures taken to mitigate potential risks and safeguard public well-being. The ongoing research and monitoring efforts will contribute to our understanding of geothermal activity and the management of volcanic hazards. Thank you for staying with me till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care.